Good afternoon and welcome to the Mike Show for Tuesday, November 21, 2023. 37 degrees at 4.01 p.m. and I am your host, Pla Kamal, and I'm a sinner. I'm here with Brother Pinson co-star Sullivan, Bobby, B-A-B-Y, Sullivan. I am powerless. Life is unmanageable. Humility and gratitude are the keys to life. It's always today. It's always now. My life is not my own. My will will not be done. There's no reality but God, and the only thing we have to do is die. So how are we going to live today? And I hope and pray that I lived from my heart a life based on faith and not fear. And I can't honestly say I did that for the most part today. Although I am a junkie for getting into the dark and dour part of me and life. Now, I was just thinking about that. and uh, I don't know. I know there is a darkness in me. There's a sadness over me. And I go back to it. Uh, or whatever. I must get something out of it. And as far as like the world and politics and bad news and all that, it's not so much as I want to live there and linger and dwell in it, is that you got to watch and make sure what's going to happen is going to happen anyway, but it's good to know how bad we're being screwed by those we trust and those who are supposed to be working for us, like politicians. So anyway, and I cannot... To live a full life and to use the full palette of emotions that I have inside of me. I can't run around pretending everything's wonderful all the time. That would be sticking my head in the sand to the darkness that occurs in interactions between us on this planet. All of us, whoever, wherever we may live, whatever country we're from, whatever ethnicity. So anyway... That's what that's all about, whether or not that made any sense. School bus is out there. It's been a gray, cloudy, wet day all day today. What time did we get up today, Sullivan? Do you remember? It was before dark, before daylight. I know that much. Uh, but I can't remember what time it was. I really can't. It's because my brain is soft. And getting softer. But I did have a pretty good day, I know that much. We had coffee and wake-up time out here. I do recall, I think Michael Sullivan and Max went out. Elsie did not. She went from being underneath the coffee table in the living room to curling up in the corner by the heater upstairs. Mackie's up there on the bed, and Mikey's in the living room on his favorite heat vent to lay on. Sammy's in our hearts. So anyway, we had a pretty productive day. We did, uh, oh, before we go any further, to, to the 8 billion of you who do not tune in on a regular basis, uh, the show just abruptly ended yesterday. Well, there was no more room to record on this phone, so that's what happens. So just to let you know, if you're new to this channel or just happened to be watching it yesterday when it just abruptly ended, stuff like that happens. Stuff like that happens. We're unscripted and you get what you get, warts and all. So anyway, and if you're expecting perfection and slick production values and music and titles and, you know, music and a scripted conversation... You're in the wrong spot, and you're going to let yourself down every time. Oh, yeah. There is a beauty in this day. It is a November day. This is November. This is what normally, when I think of November, this is traditionally what enters my mind. And we've had a lot of non-traditionally November days this month. We had a lot of sunshine, but this, this is the nitty-gritty of November. And it did try to snow somewhat. And there was actually some snow falling, but for the most part, it's just been rain. We did get the uh, living room ceiling and walls washed today, thanks to our handy-dandy mop. An all-day job that we got done in a little over an hour, probably. So that was one of the better purchases I've made in my lifetime, that wall and ceiling mop. Got the bedroom to do and the walls in the basement. 
and we'll be done with that part of that project. Then we'll work on the windows and dust everything again and vacuum the basement floor and we're trying to keep down on dust. A lot of it, you know, a lot of dust in a home is actually human skin. I've read many times, but in this home there's a lot of dust from the litter boxes. And I made the mistake of having one sitting in front of the intake area of uh, the furnace, so <laughs> that didn't help matters any. So we're trying to vacuum up as much of that stuff as we can and get rid of the dust in here. Old people aren't supposed to have dust. And I don't know if I'm old or not, but I'm getting there. Anyhow, we're going to take a break. Welcome back, and I don't really mean that, and I didn't mean it when I said good morning either. Uh, some sad news this morning. When we read the online edition of the local newspaper, someone that we know from way back when passed away, 60 years old, Renee Birmingham. And uh, I used to see Renee when I worked at the grocery store. And she always had a twinkle in her eye and a smile on her face. And it just said died suddenly, so I don't know what the deal with was that. To my knowledge, she wasn't sick with anything. So, I'll be going to that service on Friday. Uh, I heard from Brother Chris today, Sister Karen, and I went and visited Bernice after I got done with lunch, and what did I have for lunch? Oh, some pizza, some leftover pizza I made. Um, but yeah, I went and visited Bernice at Turning Brook, Visited with her for about 45 minutes, and I had heard from Cousin Paul the other day, and he's not having Thanksgiving at his house because his bride is working, so I didn't know where I'm going to go for Thanksgiving. I decided to have it here. went and picked up a turkey breast and a sweet potato and some potatoes, some cranberries, and I've got everything else here that I need to make Thanksgiving dinner. I'll probably... Leave the turkey out overnight to thaw and cook it everything. Probably do most of my cooking tomorrow and then just do a reheat on Thanksgiving Day. Oh, yeah. Just did a couple shots of espresso. And I'm feeling pretty good. Oh, boy. So what else can we yammer on about, Sullivan? We are out here at camp enjoying a nice wood stove fire. Yeah. Look at that. That almost looks real, doesn't it? Almost. Um, Bernice said that her grandson and I believe her son might have got a deer. Or maybe it was two of her grandsons. I don't remember. And it is... Rifle deer season here up in the great north. Oh boy, and I also heard from the sheriff. Uh, I had stopped by to visit him and ask him some questions last week, and he got back with me concerning uh, areas where you should or shouldn't carry when you've got a concealed weapons permit. Uh, schools, colleges, uh, sporting events, hospitals are all no-go areas, but there's some gray areas like between our high school and the stadium, there is an old railroad track that's been converted to bicycle trail. So that was one area I was wondering about. And then the bike path that runs around the property of the college and the hospital. And he said, no, nope, them, them are good to go. Just if you run into an officer, let them know you're carrying, which is a standard thing that first words out of your mouth. If you Engaging with any law enforcement officers, the first words out of your mouth are supposed to be, Officer, I have a CPL and I am carrying. What do you want me to do? That way it takes the pressure off. You don't say, oh, I got a gun, because that will end up, you know, you'll end up, a <laughs> you'll end up with a toe tag if you say that to a cop. So you make sure and be very clear and very specific and say, I have a CPL, I am carrying, what do you want me to do? That's what they taught us at class. So Eric called me and let me know. He didn't get a deer, but had a nice chat with him briefly, and he's a busy man, but he's a good man, and I'll definitely be voting him for him for sheriff. So anyway, 
Uh, I think that's about all we got. Tonight we're going to work on crosswords, probably watch a movie, maybe watch some YouTube videos, read to the loves. So that's about all we got. You got anything to add, Sully? Yeah, he's just grooming up a storm here. So from the cold gray ashes and coals of my cold black heart, my broken, beaten, battered, bruised, bloody burden, empty, hollow, crack, shattered, hopeless, forsaken, forlorn, uh, broken, bruised, bitter, and angry soul, piss off, happy, no complaint, or no, it's, it's actually Terrific Tuesday. Happy Terrific Tuesday, and thanks for not tuning in.